Now, ladies and gentlemen, it has been about one week from the 75% off sale. And well, with that, people bought capsules about a week ago and a couple days forward from that. And what's happening now is they're piling on top of the market. Hollows are going up and down in price. Supply and demand is really occurring for these. And of course, we're going to see what happens to these stickers, what you should be doing with them, possible market manipulation and market manipulation on top of that that is happening right now, what you should be looking out for, and a quick overview of how older stickers are doing compared to these stickers going up and down in demand. And if you hold any of these, well, you might want to stick around to watch. And before we go into this market update and commentary today, here's a quick word from our video sponsor, Skins Monkey. Hi you, yes you, would you like to get $5 for free for your first trade? Just use skinsmonkey.com and get your extra skins. See description below to enjoy the special promotion and receive 5% cashback for trading your CSGO skins. So with the 75% off sale being on for about a week, people bought these capsules a week ago. And well, these capsules weren't really normal in price. They were 50, 60, 80 cents. A lot of people that have asked me questions talking about this, why are these capsules still so expensive on third-party websites like Buff? And well, that's because people weren't able to get these yet for the 25 cents mark, at least on the Steam market anyway. And what's happening here is you can take a look at the market. The Legends capsule is heavily over-invested in at 74,000 quantity compared to the others. The Legends sticker capsule on top of that is 81,000 quantity. So the autograph of the Legends is, of course 74 and this i think is honestly for the cloud nine hollow and of course the signatures legends capsules it seems to be every single year because they have the most popular teams and the teams that are most favorited to win that major or specific event or just have really good looking stickers usually tend to go up the most it, the same thing happened with stockholm you have the legends capsule that is heavily over invested in and at the time was heavily over invested in and just the demand for it just wasn't really there compared to the other capsules because they had more exclusive stickers exclusive teams and this is pretty much where i see every single other event have these capsules and have these stickers that outweigh everything else because they are exclusive maybe a team that might not play or every really team again in CSGO but something like the Cloud9 Hollow is really really interesting that's what I want to take a look at with the Legends sticker capsule on its own 81,000 quantity at 28 cents this is pretty normal I would say for a Legends capsule right now but this is already extremely high just being over a week now when everyone's offloaded these on the market and people are gonna ask what is the actual number and price for the Cloud9 sticker and the Hollow specifically is $7.87 which is extremely strong for there being 81,000 of these on the market available to the public if you don't want to buy them in game, which I don't understand why you wouldn't, but here you are. $7.87, 170 quantity. These are being applied, I think, every time people buy these. People aren't just buying these to put in their inventory. People are strictly getting these and, of course, applying them to weapons. Another encounter I think we're going to be seeing with these stickers and are seeing right now is, of course, these are harder to get. These are a higher rarity, so this is going to make them a lot harder to unbox. I know it kind of sounds stupid for me to say, but I have to say it. These aren't just regular hollows anymore. Anymore. These are considered to be the new foils. They're harder to obtain for most people when they're unboxing a capsule. And that's another thing. I would not unbox these and try to get them yourself. If you want one of these stickers, I'd just go out and buy them. Your odds of getting these are really, really low. Other stickers are really holding their value as well. And where I see market manipulation happening, which a lot of people are wondering, is of course something like the Rocks Hollow. And this is happening to all these stickers, it seems like. The first 24 hours when everyone on YouTube, it seems like, was talking about the Rocks Hollow, it was over $60. Now we're back under at 40 bucks. And I think this thing is going to keep declining. And this is where I think some people should be waiting to buy into some of these stickers. You kind of want to aim right before the 75% off sale is going to get removed and how you can time that as well. I'd probably wait a week or so and that's when I would say you're getting kind of close to the 75% off sale removal and that's when the FOMO and everything's going to really really kick in. But I think something like the Cloud9 sticker is eventually going to go up in quantity and it's going to be unboxed faster than people can apply them so supply and demand is really going to play into a factor here. Obviously the supply is not really an issue I think at this point in time. It's more so of the demand. That's kind of what's driving up the price and a lot of these signatures are feeling the same way and, and we're seeing this on a lot of these right now even something like the simple hollow from this year it looks a lot different than last year and years prior which is pretty cool with the transparent background this at ten dollars and 70 quantity of course is going to go up obviously in quantity and down in price eventually it's eventually going to hit that and i think we're going to see this in the next week or so how many capsules people are actually buying they're going to be put on the market and we're not going to see how many capsules everyone has really until the end of the 75 percent off sale but what i can say is a lot of people are holding these it seems to be a lot of people like these stickers this year especially the signatures so that's pretty interesting and if you're looking to buy into some of these for an example especially if a lot of people are interested in the hollows which it seems like they are as a community you have to remember since they are harder to unbox we're going to go through a lot of 
capsules, trying to get something like the Cloud9 Hollow. And with a lot of people liking it and wanting to apply it to their crafts, it's going to be harder to unbox. That's going to drive up the price of the individual sticker capsules. That's something to look on. And as of right now, buying into these, it really seems to me like the autograph capsules are definitely the way to go. The contenders autograph capsule is actually the least bought into, which is pretty interesting. But you also have to remember, just because something is really low in quantity doesn't mean everyone's going to want to buy these to go up in price. I give the contenders autograph capsule an example is because it have the rocks hollow in it. This thing has recently got a lot of hype. I would consider this and relate it to the Furia hollow back in 2019 for the Katowice 2019 major, where this all of a sudden, just the snap of a few fingers, people like TDM Jesus and some other YouTubers were talking about this sticker and it boosted it up in price, therefore driving the demand to unbox this capsule quite a bit. So I would kind of hold on maybe buying into some of these capsules and maybe wait a week or so, especially if you're going for something like the rocks hollow, because the quantity is going to go up so much in a very short period of time. And obviously that's going to drop the price of something like this. Some may argue that the Cloud9 Hollow, for an example, since hollows are harder to unbox this year, that we're going to go through more capsules and that deeming if we have a high supply of capsules, for an example, in the Legends category, people are going to go through more of them to try and unbox a fan favorite sticker like the cloud nine stickers so that could be something to keep in mind for yourself when wanting to buy into this of course on top of the autographs but it seems to me right now not a lot of people have bought into this at least versus something like rmr which is really really good in my personal opinion and as for glitter stickers the most expensive one on the market is of course the imperial esports at one dollar and 73 cents it's 300 quantity which is pretty high but of course with this sticker being unboxed so much and obviously these are easier to obtain for most people this price i can just see falling and falling as time goes on the rocks glitter i could see it maybe being a pretty big success one day if the hollow really exploded in price eventually which i don't know that's just kind of speculation but that's something you could look into yourself something though like the cloud nine sticker it's almost a thousand quantity at 833 because the sticker seems to be in pretty big demand because people don't want to buy into that hollow price and i think I think this has a decent opportunity for some people because it is 833 quantity and $1.31, which this price is pretty insane, especially considering the quantity is so high, almost at a thousand, just a week after the 75% off sale and a few weeks, these have been off sale and just in general. So I think that's something to really consider with the glitter stickers because people won't be able to afford one day these hollows because they are so hard and expensive to obtain and will be expensive to obtain. People are going to look forward to older stickers. The paper stickers, I would consider just a flop right away. Those have always been really bad for every single event usually. So something like the Cloud9 or a really popular team, like a 9Z sticker for an example, because it is really unique, we don't get a whole lot of purple stickers in CSGO that could be pretty cool. Of course, let's look at the Stockholm hollows really quickly just to do a quick overview. And it seems to be the exact same thing as what we talked about the past few weeks is these things are going to be still in demand. And this is how it's looking right now. With a 75% off sale, usually what happens is you see older stickers go down in price just because people are going to sell them to unbox the new ones. It's kind of just a funnel just so you can get money into it. But these stickers really haven't gone down a whole lot, especially they did the first 24 hours or so because of FOMO. And I think people were scared that they were going to drop even more, but it seems to be that they're holding a really good price. Like the mouse sticker still at $10 and 50 cents. The pain gaming still at $3. Copenhagen flame still $3. Virtus pro at $3. And of course the first two mouse and pain gaming have a hundred almost 200 quantity for the pain, but I think these are going to be fine. I wouldn't panic about these. And the same thing is with Antwerp. I would not panic and just go randomly into these stickers yet. I would wait a couple more days to see when people start piling more hollows, more glitters, and of course these capsules on the market to get a good idea of it. And I think this is really going to come down to the wire for a lot of people, of course, buying into these capsules. What is the lowest in quantity? And then you're going to want to buy that one specifically on a 75% off sale and hold, maybe do a quick flip after the first 48 hours of the sale removal, because people are going to be really scared of the fear of missing out here. Let me know what you guys think. I just feel like I really had to talk about these stickers specifically, how some of them are, like the rocks, for an example, I think is being manipulated. The JT sticker was also being manipulated, just sold at a very low and high decent quantity at some points for a very expensive price. And then of course, drop down. That could have been someone just solo selling them off and then kind of convincing people that they are worth that much. And then they'll sell them again. Another disclaimer for today's video is of course, people are going to be wondering where is Mando Monday since it is Monday. I just feel like this video today was more beneficial to more people than Mando Monday. And of course, the questions that are going to be answered in that video specifically are going to be answered in today's with this semi market update talking about the Antwerp capsules and of course the quantity with the stickers. So expect it tomorrow morning as per usual. Let me know what you guys think. Stay positive, stay sexy. I'm out guys. Peace.